It's the 14th of November. I'm Jerusha Sukthia Rath, and here are today's news headlines. The Inkandla report is passed in Parliament after a riotous debate. SA will get a new low cost carrier in 2015, and Cell C loses an urgent application against a disgruntled customer. The ANC report absolving President Jacob Zuma from responsibility for the abuse of funds on his Nkandla home was ratified through a vote in Parliament last night. This came despite an opposition filibuster that brought pandemonium to the National Assembly for a second time this year. Democratic Alliance parliamentary leader Musi Mayamane said, Our president has forsaken his constitutional duty and the ANC report has rubber-stamped his sins. Today, the opposition stands together, united in our rejection of the report and its collection of denials, half-truths and fallacies. Sapa reported that as the debate drew to the close, the Deputy Speaker of the House lost control of the chamber as the EFF banged on their desks and chanted, he must pay back the money. Maimane tabled an alternative report on behalf of the opposition, which asks that Zuma be removed from office and made to repay a reasonable portion of the costs of Nkandla. The opposition report was rejected and the committee's report accepted with 210 votes absolving Zuma of responsibility and 130 votes against. There were no abstentions. Pac Africa Aviation CEO Taba Samkada has confirmed South Africa's new low cost carrier Skywise will begin operating domestic routes at the beginning of 2015. Pack Africa is in the process of purchasing one-time holdings in order to operate the new domestic carrier. Traveller 24 reported Skywise is set to begin operating one B737-300 and two A320s when it does begin flying, but domestic or regular routes have not yet been confirmed. And finally, the High Court in Johannesburg on Thursday dismissed an urgent application with costs by South Sea. It's against a banner critical of service at one of its retail outlets. The banner was put up by disgruntled South Sea customer George Prokus at the World Wear Mall on Bayer's Nordia Drive in Johannesburg. The dispute arose from a phone Prokus had taken up for his son in 2013. The number was being used by a different person who ran up a bill of 5,000 rand. Prokus ended the stop order on the phone in October last year, but discovered he was listed as a bad debtor as a result of the unpaid 5,000 rand when he tried to buy a car this year. The banner initially read the most useless service provider in SA, South Sea Santon City, but it's since been altered. Prokus says he doesn't know who changed the banner. For these stories and more, stay tuned to News24 Live.